Hey there, everybody. Um, since this video is going on both uh, Facebook and YouTube, I'll give a little background to it. Uh, I think my kitty's about to knock over my camera, so get away from your kitty. Uh, those of you that uh, watch these on Facebook and are friends with me on Facebook know that I had a little bit of an incident the other day, and I'm gonna... people have asked me like, "What happened? What happened?" Well, I'm gonna talk about it now. I uh... those of you that have been watching these YouTube videos know that about a year ago I was in pretty damn good shape. I actually had lost a significant a significant amount of weight. Uh, I was eating healthy, doing all the right shit, and then in January I got injured while working out. And then as I was recovering from the injury, I got like a knockdown, knock you out flu. It was like ten days straight of just feeling like garbage. Life starts to happen, I start to get depressed because of it, and I put on not all the weight that I lost, but I put on a, more than half. And uh, you can you can tell them if they watch watch one of my videos from last year, my face is like half this size. Um, so I haven't been making the best eating choices and health choices over the last uh, this this calendar year, and um, been having some health issues. Uh, some related to that, some not. And uh, dogs barking out there. So. Uh, the other day, I started getting real short of breath. Felt like weight just sitting on my chest, and like this sucks. And for days, my wife was like, "Just, just go to the ER. Just go get checked out. Just finally, just go get checked out." Well, apparently, um, it was a Tuesday. This past Tuesday morning, which would have been uh, September 11th, uh, I don't remember much of the early part of that day. Apparently, I was slurring really bad when I talked. Uh, this side of my face started hanging down like I was complaining that the side of my face was numb and tingling and all of a sudden my hands felt like ice water was on them and then I couldn't feel my left hand at all and it felt like electric electricity was just shooting up and down my arm so she called our doctor and the doctor's like okay go ahead and, and come on in and she, the doctor took one look at me and was like why are you here you need to be in the emergency room and she called the squad uh, from that moment on, I don't remember a lot. Apparently, uh, I was just blacking out, like passing out, waking up, passing out, waking up. And I remember the the, the, the ride to the hospital because um, the, the a medic, super cool dude, I wish I could remember his name, but he kept me alert. And every time I tried to nod off, he'd be like, hey, uh, so well, what about this? And, uh, you know, we got to talking and you know, wrestling came up because I had a wrestling shirt on and, and it was like, Oh yeah, I was, and I was like, yeah, I used to work in pro wrestling. And then boom, was, that's that's what the conversation turned into. Daughter's trying to come in the room, and they got me to the hospital. And honestly, at that point, I th I, I really legitimately thought I was having a heart attack. Uh, I had read Kevin Smith, you know, Kevin Smith from Clerks, Small Rats Chasing Amy, when he had his heart attack, and um, a lot of the symptoms were similar. And he's not that much older than me, and. You know, my biological father's side of the family, all all the men died pretty young from heart-related issues, which is why it's, I'm an idiot for putting the weight back on, because I know genetically I'm, I, I, I have to stay healthy. So, get there, they do a, 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 a all kind of EKGs, I, I mean, they put me through the ringer for tests, and they determined that I had had a mini-stroke, um, which is not a full-blown stroke, like, I'm not suffering I'm not gonna suffer permanent facial damage I, I'm it's going to be weeks before I gain my full strength back um, apparently during some of the neurological tests I showed that I was significantly weaker on the left side of my body and that worried the doctors but I'm going to be having follow-ups with neurologists and other doctors and I've been on medications now so that's what happened um, and uh, over the course of the next couple months you're gonna see me drop that weight again because um, I thought that was it. And I was going to sit in the emergency room. Well, I didn't sit in the emergency room. They, they took me from the squad straight to the to the ER uh, doctor to a to a room, and they immediately started putting IVs, all that kind of stuff. I got still have all of the marks on me from all the electrodes. I have. I, if I wasn't so fat now, I'd pull off my shirt. Got patches all over me where they had to shave me to hook up all the electrodes and everything on my legs are look like I set part of them on fire. Because 
where they had to hook stuff up to me to make sure that I wasn't going to die. And uh, it got me thinking while I was sitting there, like, man, I've, I've just, I've wasted some time. You know, this whole time I could have been eating healthier, doing better, and I knew what to do. And, and, and please don't be offended by people who I'm directing this to when I say this. This video isn't an invitation for health advice. Uh, I knew what I did wrong, and I know what to do right. And I just simply let my depression, which I, I do, I am diagnosed bipolar manic depressive. I also have post-traumatic post stress disorder from several incidents when I was younger. And um, I do have uh, anxiety. Also, I've talked about my lifestyle on here with my children. I have two disabled children. They're both in mid-teens and both nonverbal, still in diapers. So I have a very stressful lifestyle. And I should know better than to let myself get like this. So this is not an invitation for health advice. I'm under the care of some very good doctors right now, very good people. And so, I guess the reason I'm making this video is one to let everybody know I'm okay because I did post about it. I posted a lot. I, I don't know why I went Facebook Live when I came home. I, I, I watched the video back like that was kind of dumb. It was just me mumbling for two minutes. <laughs> but I guess I just wanted to say, hey, I'm okay, and I, I actually legitimately couldn't type it at the time. Uh, I feel much better now. I am still very weak, very tired. Um, I occasionally am getting some chest pains and things like that, but I'm doing much better. So since I do reviews. <laughs> And that's my shtick on here is reviews. I'm going to talk a little bit about my stay there at Mercy Hospital West in Cincinnati, Ohio, over off of North Bend Road. Anybody who's familiar with the area knows where that is. Uh, I was treated very well there. Um, they were all very nice to me. The many nurses that I went through, they were all just super cool with me. Anything I asked, they, they did it for me. And uh, I gotta be honest, you hear all the crap about hospital food, but because I'm a really basic eater, I'm a very picky eater. Like, there's not a lot of foods out there I eat, which is amazing how I got so fat, but I mean, pretty much when you eat frozen pizzas and Taco Bell every day, this is what happens to you. Um, but the food was actually really good. <laughs> like, the, uh, the third, first thing I ordered, because the first night I was there, I hadn't eaten in hours and hours. My blood sugar had dropped pretty low. They had to give me one of those sugar packet things that I actually didn't think tasted too bad. But they had to give me one of those to pull me back up because my blood sugar got, like, really low. Um, so I ordered some chicken tenders and mashed potatoes, and when I got it, it looked terrible. I was like, well, these look awful. I'm like, I'm hungry. I don't care. I just want to start eating. I'm like, it's really fucking good. Next morning, I ordered breakfast. I got, like, for the, for the first time in forever, I got pancakes, scrambled eggs, and, and bacon. I was like, this is delicious. And then for lunch, I had a couple of cheeseburgers. And... For low sodium, low fat cheeseburgers, they were really good. <laughs> like, surprisingly good and filling. Like, all I got was two cheeseburgers. At McDonald's, I could eat two McDoubles and a chicken sandwich and a large fry. Again, why I'm so fat now. But these, I could barely finish the second burger. And these were not double burgers. I mean, these, these were just good sized burgers. So there's, there's a review included in this video of the hospital food that I had, that I experienced, was actually quite good. Um, I was in there for about two days. Um, since I've been home, I've been feeling better. Um, I really want to give a special thanks to my mother, who sat with me for a while, but really, um, somebody I don't talk about here a lot. We just, no real reason, we just don't see each other that often. My older sister, Tracy, uh, sat with me. Um, for a very long time, the day I was there, until she absolutely could not stay there any longer. And so, Tracy, I love you, and thank you so much for staying with me. Um, also, I, and I, I said this in my other video, but I, I want to post this on both YouTube and uh, the other one I just posted to Facebook. Uh, thank you to everybody for the, the kind well wishes. And yes, I am one of those atheists that does thank you for your prayers, because when somebody says, I'm praying for you, I know some atheists are dickheads about that, like, oh, you don't say that to me. No, to me that means you're thinking about me. So if you're saying, "Hey, I'm I'm giving my you're in my thoughts and prayers," great, positive vibes in any way, shape, or form are always welcomed. So I'm not that kind of guy. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the thoughts. Thank you for the comments. Thank you to everybody that that, that gave a shit. Um, it scared me really bad, and I'm never letting this happen again. I'm better than this, but more so than anything, my wife deserves more than that. She doesn't deserve that. My children don't deserve that. My grandson does not deserve that. And my mother does not need to be taking care of her ill 38, soon to be 39-year-old son when she has her own problems. So 
over the next couple months. Hopefully you'll see me get a little bit lighter, a little bit sprier, and uh, hopefully this is, this is not going to be a constantly occurring thing. Um, of course, this was not made better because I, a couple years ago I got cat scratch disease from taking care of an outside cat who I still took care of until he didn't come around anymore. And I'm pretty sure he, he died in the cold, uh, unfortunately. He was my, like my best friend. We called him the Gray Kitty because I would say, hey, it's the Gray Kitty. And he would start responding to me like, hey, it's the Gray Kitty. And finally I just started, hey, Gray Kitty, meow. And he'd come running towards me. I'd pet him and love on him and feed him. I got cat scratch disease. I lost uh, a substantial amount of vision in this eye, and for a good several months, I was walking with a cane. Um, I missed some friends' weddings. I missed a friend of mine's father's funeral because I just didn't want to be seen in public. Uh, I looked terrible. I looked worse than I do now. And I pulled myself out from that. And then I let something else bad happen. So people say, don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up. No, I'm being realistic here. This was I could have, I could have stopped this from happening. I chose not to. That's not going to happen again. So, um, not that I'm not not this. This is this is never going to be hot. This is just going to be okay. But this is going to get back to the to the, where I was before, where I actually had decent muscles and I, I look okay. I thought so. Uh, it's time for me to stop relying on my devilish charm and charisma and get back into the shape that I know I need to be in. So, sorry I rambled on in this, and I know a lot of the people who watch me on YouTube probably aren't going to watch this video, and that's okay. I just wanted to get out there and say, hey, here's what happened to me. It's not going to happen again. I'm going to pull myself out of this, and I'm going to do better. Thank you.